Sign up today for a seven-day free trial at alerts.chartguys.com. Hey everyone, checking back in on the cryptocurrency space. The bulls are off to a great start to this week, and it's being led to the upside by the altcoins, or a notable amount of altcoins. And it was almost like we hit a, a, a support level on Bitcoin, and as soon as the Bitcoin bulls held 77, it was like the altcoins said, okay, we're ready for another leg higher. So right now we have this triple bottom for Bitcoin, down in the 7,700s, and we're looking back up at 85.35, the top of this bounce, and the daily exponential resistance is under that level, and that has yet to be tested as well. So base of support, very clearly established, and now it's just a question of can we get a bull break on the daily? If we do, we zoom out to the weekly chart, and we look for a weekly lower high to form compared to 10,939. So it certainly will not be the bulls out of the woods Bigger picture, but it'll be short-term relief and we will get some bounce follow-through. So that is a key short-term level to be watching, but the altcoins are outperforming. When we last, when I last checked in on the video, I had ETH bids as I was looking for a four-hour higher low entry, looking for ETH to set a daily higher low. And I also had a, a link USD order in for a stop buy. And we'll look at both of those. Unfortunately for me, my ETH position never filled and I was looking at an entry right here and I missed my fill by about 20 cents. And then I had to leave the computer for the weekend and I pulled my order knowing I wouldn't be able to watch. So I, in the end, you know, I would have gotten filled and it would have worked out, but that is not the ideal way to be trading as I would have been giving up a lot of control just hoping that I was right about the movement. So we've had a big ETH bull move. And we're looking right back up at our high. So the daily higher low is established at 167.50 and it's all about 185.89. Best case scenario for the ETH bulls is a bull break on that Bitcoin daily chart and a bull break on the ETH BTC chart, which has us right at resistance 2211 and 2230 being tested right now because if both of those break, that means that Ethereum is very likely in the upper 180s or lower 190s at that point. So very strong chart, keeping the ETH BTC pairing strong. Anything above 21.021 is a daily higher low. And we're testing that resistance right now. Litecoin is already breaking to higher highs here. It was the, one of the weakest bounces, trying to play catch up now, where we are looking at 57.75, which has broken. So now it's 59.60 and a bunch of psychological resistance levels because the next price level is all the way up at 67.37 as far as the daily time frame is concerned. I'm still not interested in Litecoin because the LTC BTC chart, while it isn't a little daily uptrend, it's nowhere near breaking its recent high. Whereas of course, Ethereum is right on the verge of breaking that high. So a big difference in where their Bitcoin pairing charts stand right now. And we'll see how much catch up the Litecoin bulls can follow through with. But again, ETH is just a stronger setup right now, in my opinion, XRP was one of the stronger bounces. And it is leading the way up with another leg up. So our higher low on the daily is 242. And we're now looking up at resistance of 327. And we're looking at the weekly time frame where we have our high, the low of the dump, and anything under 327 is a weekly lower high. So the question from here is, are we going to get an equilibrium? And if we condense it to the two-day time frame, it's a little bit more clear. Are we going to reject and see a two-day equilibrium play out through October or... Will the bulls have enough momentum to just rip right through 327? If I have to choose the most likely scenario, in my opinion, it would be a lower high compared to that resistance and a tightening range. And again, I do like the two-day time frame for clarity. And why do I think that's the most likely scenario? Because we've already seen a solid bull move and we're still 16% away from that resistance. Could we break that resistance? Absolutely, it's possible, but it's just not what I feel is most likely. So we have a four hour uptrend to be watching on XRP starting to top out a little bit, but we'll just be looking for a four hour higher low to form. When we lose the four hour uptrend, that's the indication that our daily lower high has been set and it will then be time for daily consolidation to try and form another higher low. But that four hour uptrend is not at risk, at least where we stand right now. BNB was also one of the weaker bounces. It's trying to test its top of 1628, have not broken it yet. So it's still one of the weaker bounces. If I had to rank everybody, on this list as far as their bounces go and excluding link because it's a bit of a different setup, but it would be Binance, weakest, then Litecoin, then Bitcoin, 
then EOS, XRP, and ETH, all the stronger moves. So Binance trying to negate the bear flag. We're going to have to see Binance make its way up towards $18. If I'm going to negate that bear flag, again, looking at it on the weekly time frame, it's a very weak bounce at this point, And anything under 23.17 is just a weekly lower high. EOS was one of the bounce leaders. It's seeing its follow through over daily exponential resistance. Higher low is now 284. Bull break over 312 and a lack of resistance nearby. Again, zooming out, we're just looking for a weekly lower high compared to 423, but certainly some short-term relief and some bounce follow through at this stage. So Link USD, this is the first trade that I've taken, I think in 2018, that's not Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. So what was the setup that I liked? And I appreciate you guys pointing it out to me, not only in YouTube comments, but some of our members as well saying, hey, you know, Link's a good setup. And it definitely was where we had our high of resistance, low of the pullback, inability to break resistance. And as soon as I saw this consolidation, I said, all right, as long as we hold this exponential support, that's a, it's the psychology of a cup and handle pattern. Resistance, healthy cup con consolidation, inability to break resistance, healthy little bull flag, and then the breakout. So I had my stop buy at 203. Why did I place my stop buy under resistance? Because it's more thinly traded. And in my opinion, I was very confident that if my stop buy is going to trigger at 203, I'm going to take the price to 204 or beyond. And then other stop buys are going to trigger as well and get follow through. So essentially, I was just cutting in front of other stop buys that I anticipated would trigger along with mine. Then I sold half of my position at 213 to lock in about 0.4% oh, of profit, just under 5%. And then I locked in the other half when we were getting very extremely overbought in the short-term timeframes. I locked that in at about 226. So in the end, it ended up being about a 20 cent gain. So roughly, oh, let's see, less than a 20 cent gain. It was more like an 18 cent gain. Either way, it was a worthwhile trade. I had to use a lot less capital because it's a lot more illiquid. So I used about, you know, if I'm gonna make a starter position on Bitcoin, this position on link was probably about a third or a quarter of what a starter position on Bitcoin would be. And certainly way smaller than what a full position on Bitcoin would be. So it was just me experimenting. I've never traded link before. Wasn't sure how it would be trading on Coinbase. Obviously in hindsight, it went very well and saw a very significant continuation. This was the kind of scenario where I would have been looking for a re-entry as the consolidation was very healthy. I liked my exit, the fact that I could reload, you know, 5% cheaper and still maintain in that uptrend, but it was bedtime and I did not want to stay up Sunday night trying to trade altcoins personally. So I miss out on the next leg up because I chose sleep over trading, which is fine by me, but congrats to the bulls that are still in their position. And with where we stand now on a very clear daily bull break and a bull cross of the exponential moving averages, we're now looking up at 262 as the next key resistance and the weekly time frame with a very significant bounce underway. So very nice follow through. And that's, of course, something that's going to only add confidence to altcoin traders. If I can look at altcoins and see bull breaks with that kind of follow through, that makes me confident to buy bull breaks. And we know many times in Bitcoin, Recently, over the last 6, 12 months, we get bull breaks with a lack of follow through. So it's a lot less confident. I'm a lot less confident buying bull breaks in some of these bigger coins than I am trying to position myself in other ways, whether it's with four hour higher lows or oversold bounces or whatever. But if you start having altcoins that do this with bull breaks and follow through on big volume, you better believe that this sector is going to get excited very quickly again, and there will be some quick gains to be had. So we'll see how long this altcoin strength picks up. It's definitely notable right now. Keep an eye on the BTC pairing charts. Let's see if Ethereum can get a clear bull break and follow through within the next day or two. And sideways Bitcoin would be just fine for the altcoins. Even if we don't break 85.35, just trade sideways as long as possible. And altcoins can continue to do their own thing, disregarding any potential bearish correlation. If Bitcoin were to drop bearish, obviously sideways would be much better. Also, don't forget bigger picture. We're looking for a monthly higher low on, on Bitcoin. And, if we, and when we form that monthly higher low and then bounce, we'll probably be looking for a monthly lower high as well. So we're in a daily tightening range where all coins are doing their thing. If Bitcoin gives us a monthly tightening range, 
where for the rest of 2019 and to start 2020, let's just say we did form our monthly higher low and we do something like this, that sideways range is again, another really beneficial environment for the altcoin space to flex its wings and do its own thing to a certain degree. So let's keep an eye on how these altcoins continue to perform. And congrats again to the bulls that are benefiting from their movements. We'll continue to check in and I appreciate you watching. We'll wrap it up here with some more videos from my trip to the Northeast. This is the Lost River little boardwalk cave area hike. I went here over 20 years ago when I was a little kid growing up. And the coolest part about it is watching how these trees roots and how their, their trunk structures are growing intermingled with these jagged rocks that are dropped down by a glacier and how the water has cut through those rocks. But just these rocks that will, I mean, you'll have 20 foot roots climbing over rocks and then reaching down into soil. And you'll have trees that are just going sideways before they stretch up and reach for the sun. So some pretty cool nature doing its thing. Thanks again. Do good things out there and protect those bullish positions.